Hello and welcome. As the title suggests, I would like to introduce to you a script made for InDesign. Shortly, with this tool you can convert an InDesign document into a Photoshop file. All layers will be kept, of course, but you can also choose the resolution and color space of the resulting PSD. Now I will tell you and show you a little more about this tool, what it can do for you and also about the limitations. We have prepared four examples for demonstration. Let's start. Our first InDesign sample has page size defined in points, two pages and two layers, named background and text. When I turn the script on, it instantly shows the setting options for the final PSD. Here we have the page range, and it's needed to say that each InDesign page means one PSD file as the result. Then you can choose the resolution and at the end the color space. I will not change any of these for now and we can continue. Before I confirm my chosen setting, I make sure that Photoshop is running and not a single file is open, otherwise the script will not work as I need. Now confirm the setting. The script will automatically activate Photoshop, does the job, and when it's done, displays a dialog box telling you that the conversion was successful. The moment you click OK, you can find your new converted PSD file in the directory where you keep your original InDesign document. And let's check the new PSD. You can see that the number of layers and the names are the same as in the original. And in the document setting, you see there that the resolution is 372 and the dimensions are 120 by 600, exactly as expected. Done with the first example, opening the next one. So, here I have two pages. The page size is in millimeters, not in points. There is an A5 and an A4 page with several layers. Objects on pages are placed in different layers. Now, turning on the script. And this time I want only the second page to be converted. I choose the resolution 300 and CMYK as color space. The particular color profile, whether CMYK or RGB, will be determined by your color management setting. Now, turning on the script, I use the common European standards, so if I choose RGB, I'll get the sRGB profile, and if I choose CMYK, it will be Fogra 39. We are done with settings, now click OK and wait for the conversion. Checking the new PSD, I can see that the dimensions are really 210 by 297, which really means A4, but you have to be careful here. If your original InDesign document uses other units of measurement than points, then the resulting dimension might slightly differ, as it's shown here. In the left bottom corner, Photoshop tells you that the color profile is Fogra 39. The layer panel shows you that all original InDesign layers have been converted to smart objects. And we are done with example number two, let's continue with number three. This sample is a banner with several layers. This shadow behind the child is an individual object blended using the multiply blending mode. If I change the blending mode of the shadow to normal, you can see that the original image has white background. As I mentioned before, our script converts each layer from InDesign to one layer in Photoshop. We need to keep the possibility of changing the blending mode to multiply in Photoshop. So I have to create a new layer and move the shadow there. And I will better name it multiply. Running the script, opening PSD. And I can see it doesn't look like the original. 
one single step will solve the problem. Just find a layer with the shadow, named Multiply, and change the blending mode to Multiply. I'm closing this one and moving to the last example. Here I have more than 10 banners in different sizes. I want to convert them all into individual PSD files. All objects are organized in layers in the order I want them in my converted PSD. I run the script, do not change any of the settings and confirm. At first, the script is preparing all objects for loading into Photoshop and because it's 10 banners, it can take a while. It depends of course on the complexity of the document. My banners are quite simple, so the work will be done quickly. When it's done, Photoshop window opens. But I will go to the directory where my new files were created and tell you something more about the file names. Every file name starts with a two-digit number, indicating the page number of the original InDesign document. This should help you to find a specific banner or page very quickly. At the end of the file name, there are the dimensions of the original page including the units you defined in InDesign, in this case points. If you are setting an InDesign document is in centimeters, CM will appear at the end, if in millimeters, MM will, and so on. If you use centimeters, millimeters, inches or points, you don't need to be worried, but if you use other units, which are rightly used in Europe, please check the dimensions of your PSD file. I have finished the examples and I will now add some technical information about the script. It is written in JavaScript language, so it works for both Windows and Mac OS. Two versions are available, Standard and Pro. With the Standard version, you can convert only a one-page document. If you want to convert more, you will use the Pro version, where there are no limitations. The download links for both versions can be found in the video description. And I thank you very much for your attention. Bye!